Hey guys, it's Billy again with Buckeye Kayak Fishing Trail. I'm here to talk about catch, photo, release. We all love kayak tournament fishing, but one thing that could ruin the day is to have a fish disqualified. This video will have all the information that you need to make sure that you do not get a fish disqualified. I'm gonna go over a few things that you'll need to have with you before you photograph, and then we're gonna have Ryan Parker, who was the 2019 BKFT Classic winner. So Ryan knows what he's talking about. You should listen to him. You're gonna need your identifier. Make sure that you get the correct code and that you put it in the correct boxes. Identifier has to be there. You're gonna need a phone or some other kind of digital camera, and then you're gonna need your bump board. It can be a hog trough or a catch board. So there you go. Um, oh, you're also gonna need your kayak. Your kayak must be in the photo. And a fish. You need a fish. That's where Ryan Parker comes in. All right, caught a fish. First thing I do after I get it in the net, get it in the boat, is I keep a pair of fish grips. Super handy. I grip the fish, and then I put the fish back in the water. It can sit there and work out the rest of its aggression. I kind of get stuff out of the way. Um, the next thing I do is I take my board, I get it wet, I get the whole thing wet. It cools the board down, especially if you're using the catch boards, the metal just gets hot. Cools the boards down um, and it just helps keep the fish more calm. Make sure it's good and cool for the fish. That's the most important thing here. Keeping the fish comfortable, because when they're comfortable, they tend to cooperate a little bit better. Off the grips, back into the boat. I've got everything ready. Board's wet, things are out of the way. Fish is ready to go, identifiers in the photo. So we get him back on the board. Again, things that you don't want to do, cover the eye, get anywhere up underneath this gill flap. Um, you can touch the tail, but not the tail itself. And one of the biggest deduction reasons for a deduction is the mouth being open, um, even the slightest bit. Even the slightest bit. Even the slightest bit. So, kind of, you can, again, you can grab the fish here, and that's one of the best ways to keep that mouth closed is just apply a little bit of downward pressure. Uh, this is a relaxed fish. I can get this photo without my hand on it. Of course he flips there. <laughs> but mouth closed, there's that, that just gravity will generally keep their mouth closed like that. Yeah, you know what he's talking about. You, you, you take the board and you just tilt the board. You set it on your kayak that way and that's, that's how you do it. Snap a couple photos. And the next thing I do is after I rapid fire take those photos, I check my photos and I make sure that I have one that could work, release the fish. Um, it is all that simple. Hey guys, so there you have it, catch, photo, release. Let's look at an example of a fish that doesn't follow the correct way to photograph. Now listen, I can't give you all the examples. There's gonna be someone out there that will do something that's, you know, not, not within the rules, but you may not see a picture of it now. What I'm gonna show you is some of the most common things that'll get your fish disqualified. The mouth has gotta be closed. Even a quarter of an inch open can result in a deduction. Close the mouth. Here we have the tail and the identifier are both cut off. The fish is facing the wrong way. You need to see the left eye, that fish is facing to the right. This one, the hand is under the gill plate, the tail's flipped up. Here we have someone touching the tail. You can't cover the eye, identifier's cut off again. Really, the, it's basically upside down. The identifier's blocked with your hand. Here we go guys, this is a good picture. We have the identifier, the fish is facing the right way, the tail's not touched, the eye's not covered, not touching the gill, everything's good. Good picture. All right guys, so there you have it. Thanks again to Ryan Parker, and I hope you guys have a blast. Man, be nice to the judges. Good luck in your tournament. Tight lines, don't get your fish DQ'd. Bye guys.